What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. All right, check it out. Uh, I think we could safely say right now that the Acolyte has stirred up some controversy this week uh, just because the show drops and everybody has an opinion about it, critics and audiences, and they've never been further apart. Right now, it's sitting at a 60% gap. You know, 91% for the critics, 31% for the audience. And you start asking, okay, how can this thing be this far apart? And look, it was even further apart yesterday. I actually screen capped this from the video that I did yesterday. It was at 26% for the audience score. All right. The critics was still the same. 91% for the critics with 110 reviews. Uh, 26% for the audience with 2,500 plus ratings. And now this thing has actually jumped up another uh, five percent you know it started out low and then it's starting to like equalize so maybe this is where it's going to be but look some review boosting is absolutely happening right here some folks in their feelings say oh my god i can't believe they put this thing at 26 percent all right call the calvary all right disney let's get those bots cranking out there that's, I mean, that's what's happening right now. And so, yeah, this thing has jumped up another 5%, point, five percentage points overnight. That's huge, all right? There was like a late night ballot drop or something, or I guess. I don't know what happened here because 5,000 ratings. I mean, somebody came in and did a big ballot dump and then got this thing, boo, you know, shooting up over uh, 5% overnight, you know. But look, this is the thing, man. Here's the thing. Somebody's lying, all right? The critics and the audiences have never been uh, 60 points across, all right, or 60 points apart. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. Somebody's lying. Somebody's lying. My opinion, yeah, I think the critics are boosting this thing up a little bit more. Yeah, you look at the average critics, all right, the uh, top critics are at 75%. You know, with a 6.4 out of 10 rating, just barely good. All right. Barely good. That's where the critics, the top critics are. All right. All critics say a little bit more out of out of pounds. All right. 7.45 out of 10. Like, yo, come on, guys. Come on, guys. It's not realistic. All right. Nobody's buying this. So in my opinion, the critics over here on Rotten Tomatoes, the, the top critics are a little bit closer, you know, to reality than these uh, all critics, because you can even see it on Metacritic. Yeah, like Metacritic right now has the Acolyte with a 67 uh, rating based on 32 critic reviews. Uh, and then the user ratings are about the same. Like I say in that 30 percentile, right? 3.4 out of 10. It's kind of in that 30 percentile. 67 percent. That seems a reasonable score. I'm not saying that you can't like the Acolyte. I don't like it. I think it's dog shit. But. If there are some people out there that like it, okay. But to me, this seems more realistic. 67 uh, out of 100, you know? That's, again, that's close to the to this uh, 6.4 out of 10, you know? This is, you know, would be 64 out of 100 if you were to do the math, all right? So that makes more sense. That, again, lines up closer to this uh, critic score over here on Metacritic. I, you know, again, I, I'm, I'm not agreeing with this. I don't think this uh, show is that good. But I can accept that there are people out there that would like it. And, again, the audience score, it, it matches. And everybody, oh, it's review bombing. Yes, it's the review bombing. Well, again, we could go back to Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, I think there's some boosting going on. I think there's a little bit of boosting going on because, again, this thing was sitting at 26% yesterday. And so now we're sitting at 31%. Best believe, look, this thing is heading to the 50s. All right. The, look, these people that want to boost this thing up, all right, they're ideologically driven. The reason that everybody is so mad that this thing is getting dog walked, it isn't because it's Star Wars. It isn't because the critics love it or whatever. It's because it's LGBTQ. OK, let's just call it like it is. It's LGBTQ. It has a whole lot of ideology just shoved into this thing. And so they need this ideology to win. They need the ideology to win or they need this ideology. To, if it loses, they need to be able to say, oh, it's the bigots, it's the racists, it's the homophobes, it's all these people that are haters. All right. That's what they need. They need the narrative. They're going to get the narrative one way or the other. You know, they probably hate that this is happening during Pride Month. It's like, oh, my God, we've got to finally a LGBTQ friendly Star Wars series. You know, we're all seen and felt represented and all that other nonsense. They finally get it. It's getting absolutely dunked on. And so, yeah, best believe they're going to do everything in their power. They're going to take this little hit right now. OK, they're going to take this hit. And they're, they're, this is my speculation. 
They're going to take this negative review bombing hit and they're going to cry victimhood, victimhood, victimhood. That's where this thing is starting at. Right. But then over time, this score will raise. All right. This score is going to raise up into the 50s, maybe even into the 60s. So this thing no longer reads a rotten bucket of popcorn. All right. It's no longer in the negative. This thing is going to raise up because it's the exact same thing that happened with Willow. Do you guys remember when I was discussing this with Willow? I'm going to play a quick clip of my video that I did regarding Willow, okay? The video I did regarding Willow, not a lot of y'all saw that. But I did this exact same video talking about how the audience score was jumping during Willow because people were boosting the, the scores up. And I found this whole thing played out on X, all right? Check this out tooling around on twitter i found this particular post right the audience score is rising if you haven't added a five star for willow yet it is much appreciated so you can see right here when this person posted this this was on january the 7th all right the score made it all the way up to 40 percent. so it was at 27 percent about mid-december right now here first week of january it's up to 40 percent right and you can see that this person was actually responding to this other post when it was at 36 percent so you see, this thing had already jumped up like 12 or 13 percent in a matter of a couple of weeks. Right. <laughs> I mean, Willow had been out for a long time. This thing was down in the doldrums about where, you know, uh, the acolyte was at around 26 percent or so. But then a coordinated campaign. And again, I'm going to fast forward through this because I found this thing playing out on uh, X where basically people were telling, hey, go review boost this thing. Go boost it up, all right? Don't sit back and just let this thing sit down here in the 20s and the 30s and the 40s, all right? Boost this thing up. Let me see. Yeah, like this part right here. Look, it had gotten all the way up to 48%. Can't really zoom in on that. But it got all the way up to 48% on Rotten Tomatoes, okay? From where it was down in the 20s, at the time that I was recording this, it was all the way up to 48%. You want to know where Willow is at right now? Yeah. Yeah. 65% on that audience score. That's what's about to happen again. These cats, these LGBTQ cats, they are very, they're focused, they're ideologically driven. So here's what's going to happen. Like I said, they're going to let the acolytes sit down in, you know, the 30s or whatever, and they're going to cry victimhood. They're going to cry homophobia. They'll cry racism, sexism. They'll do all of that, okay? They'll get all of that victimhood currency that's out there now, all right? And then slowly over time, this score, all right, the score for the Acolyte, let me back up to that, all right, the score for the Acolyte is going to rise up from this 30%. It is going to go up into the 50s and probably the 60s because they want to give it a win. And then they'll be able to come back later down the line. Oh, look what we did. Yay. You know, like pat themselves on the back and say, see, we feel seen, we feel heard, blah, 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 blah. Knowing damn well that a lot of these cats went out there and just created fake accounts so that they could boost it up. I mean, that's basically where these dudes are. So this stuff means way more to them than it does to me. I just laugh at it because it just shows that somebody's lying. That's the main thing for me. When you got the audience talking like this and you got the critics talking like this right off the bat, that just shows you how, like, basically the critics are the ones boosting this thing up. All right. Again, the audience on both Metacritic and on uh, the um, on Rotten Tomatoes are in alignment. All right. They're pretty close to being in alignment. And then the top critics. All right. The top critics, you know, with their overall rating, how they rate this thing. All right. Not whether it's good, bad, whether whether it's a tomato or a splat. But OK, just the rating they give it. The rating 6.4 out of 10, pretty close to this Metacritic rating of 67 percent. So again, I just, I laugh at it. It's all ideology, all right? It's all because this is an LGBTQ show and they want it to be successful. They want to champion, you know, diversity, equity, and inclusion and all of this other crap. Instead of just saying, hey, good show or bad show, all right? Good show or bad show, even if you like it, you know, just give us an honest score. And instead of trying to boost it up and make it better than what it is. You know, it's utterly ridiculous. Anyway, folks, that's where I think this thing is headed. All right. I think we're heading towards some more review boosting. All right. I think this thing is going to end up this audience score is going to end up somewhere in the neighborhood of 55 to 65 percent, somewhere in that neighborhood before all is said and done.
Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. I don't think it's going to save the Acolyte from just getting destroyed. I don't know if there's going to be a season two. They're probably going to be, oh, please make there a season two of the Acolyte. That's one of the reasons that another reason that they're going to do this, not just so that they get seen and heard, but that's so LGBTQ uh, can take over Star Wars. We're going to get a second season. See, ha ha ha, haters, right? That's where this thing is all going, okay? It's not about the show. It's not about Star Wars. All right. It's about sending a message. It's about feeling seen, feeling heard, representation and all of that bullshit. But again, if, it doesn't matter if nobody's watching your show. And I don't think anybody's going to watch this show. All right. I think after a couple of weeks, I think this thing is going to fall off the side of the cliff when it comes to viewership. All right. The only people that's going to be watching it are us that are reviewing it for, every, for our YouTube channels, you know, and a handful of other people. Sure. But I don't think anybody's going to be rocking with this thing much longer. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.